Now in today's video, you guys are gonna see a couple of things that you've probably never seen before on my YouTube channel. Now what you guys don't know is that I have a dirty, dirty secret about my room. What is up guys, Karma Medic here, and welcome back to another dose. If you're new to the channel, then hi, my name is Nasser, and I'm now a fourth year medical student studying at King's College London. And as you can see from this very beautiful study timetable, I have been hard at work studying every single day, putting in a lot of hours preparing for my upcoming medical school exams. And so today we are gonna be doing absolutely none of that. I'm not going to open the books one bit. Instead, I'm gonna do a whole bunch of things that I've been meaning to do for a very long time that I otherwise haven't had enough time to do and that's going to start with me chopping this mop off of my head so let's go and do that So lockdown restrictions here in the UK have finally eased. We can now meet up in groups of six outside. Most people can travel for non-essential reasons and all shops are open. So things like hairdressers, gyms, dentists, they're all open. And since we've been in lockdown and I've been studying pretty much for like the last four months, just going to placement and studying, I think it's time for a little bit of self-care. strange but I can actually like feel the wind blowing through my hair again which I haven't felt in absolutely forever I'm back back to normal hair Nasser it's good to be here all right so let me give you guys a quick update about what I've been up to in medical school. So as you guys know, I've moved to a new hospital and over there I've been doing my obstetrics and gynecology rotation, otherwise known as women's health. And honestly, it's been absolutely amazing. It's been incredible. I've seen more childbirths than I ever could have imagined. I've been in surgery, scrubbing into the C-sections and getting involved, which has been an amazing experience in itself. All right, my camera ran out of battery, so this is my iPhone 12. As I was saying, I've been really, really enjoying my obs and gynae placement. It's a specialty that I sort of wrote off in second year after I watched a traumatic childbirth, and I was like, you know what, this isn't for me. I don't wanna have anything to do with this. But now that I've seen the specialty sort of in a broader perspective, I've been involved more in the gynae side as well as the obstetrics. It's now on my list of specialties that I'm considering for the future. So we've got emergency medicine, GP, and now obs and gynae. Anyways, we've got plenty to do today, so let's get a move on. All right, homies, and we are back. The first thing I like to do after I get a haircut is shower and shave. I absolutely hate that feeling of having those small little hairs down the back of my neck and in my clothes, making me itchy for the rest of the day. So I'm gonna go shower to get rid of those. And then it's always a good opportunity to shave. Um, so let's go do that. All right, all done with that. The next big thing that I wanna do today is go to the dentist. I am finally, for the first time in my life, gonna get my teeth whitened, which I'm very, very excited about. All the coffees I've been drinking for so many years in a row has really started to add up, and it's about time my teeth get whitened. So I've got about an hour before I need to leave the house to go do that, and I was thinking that I have just enough time to record a YouTube video. So it's Saturday right now, and I actually don't have a video ready for this coming Thursday, which is very unlike me, but it's been a busy couple of weeks and I just haven't had time to record. I think I'm gonna record a video about how listening to and reading books has completely changed my life. It's opened up my mind and my perspective on so many different things, and yeah, I think that's the one I'm gonna go for. Now in today's video, you guys are gonna see a couple of things that you've probably never seen before on my YouTube channel, one of which is coming later in the vlog, but for now, just step over all these boxes that we're gonna open later. This is my secret stash of messy things in my room. So we've got the light box that I used to light up my videos, and then down here, all the different tripods and things that I use. So this, is what we're gonna get now. This is a big, beefy Manfrotto tripod that I used to film the majority of my videos. Whenever I film, I need to rearrange my whole room because it is very, very small. There is not much space for anything. And then if I take you off of here and I fix you onto here, 
this is kind of the view that you see from most of my videos. But obviously, I need to adjust it. How are we looking now? Cool. I think that looks pretty good. Looks like we are good to go. I'm going to go make myself a coffee and get started with this video. Wow, I really cut it close there. Nice. All right, so I need to put this camera somewhere for the behind the scenes of this video for this vlog. Whenever I'm filming more than one video at the same time, I get very, very confused. Where should we set this guy down? Somewhere over here. Let's see what this looks like. So I'm gonna leave that camera rolling there, this camera rolling for this video. Okay, I've got everything straight in my head and if you're looking down there you can just ignore it we're gonna fix it later in this vlog i promise and yeah that's about it what is up guys karma medic here and welcome back to another dose in today's video i'm going to be talking about how listening to audiobooks and reading books in general has completely changed my life it's completely shifted my focus and my thinking my perspective on a whole variety of topics Out of the house for the second out of the third time today i am on my way to the dentist to get my teeth cleaned and whitened Right, guys teeth cleaning done the teeth whitening i'm going to be doing next week but it's like a three week process of putting gel on the, your teeth in these molds every night so i'm just happy to get the process started but anyways let's head home because i've got something very 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 exciting to do and i can't wait to show you guys all right guys so i'm back home now and i just had some lunch with noor and watched something on the tv i'm finally gonna tell you what it is that we are going to be doing with all of these boxes over here but you know what? Instead of telling you, let me just show you. All right, this over here is my new desk. Just for some scale, I'm a pretty tall dude. This thing's taller than me. So yeah, this is gonna stay. I'm a bit skeptical, but I think it'll hold. So my desk right now is pretty huge as it is, but I actually want more space, believe it or not, because I plan to get a bigger monitor than this one. So I'm gonna need a little bit more space for that. But most importantly, this new desk over here automatically stands and sits down, which is great because the biggest barrier for me moving between standing and seating positions is the fact that I need to crank it manually myself, which you guys might not think is a big deal. And to be honest, it's probably not, but it's enough of a barrier that it prevents me from moving to the standing position as often as I would like to help rest my back and keep myself in good posture. Now, what you guys don't know is that I have a dirty, dirty secret about my room that I don't think you guys have ever seen before. And this is the first and only time I'm gonna show on camera only because I'm about to fix it in this video. But as you know, this is my desk. And if we go underneath this beauty, you come to the dungeon. <laughs> embarrassing mess of tangled cables. Now I know what you guys are thinking, Nasser that looks absolutely terrible and I could not agree more. So now with this new desk, I'm gonna have perfect cable management. I've bought everything I need to make it neat and tidy so that that situation never happens again. What we're gonna do with this old desk is I'm gonna give it to Noor. So it's gonna go two rooms that way. So actually let's go and tell her that it's time to start clearing up our desks and get moving. It's time. It's time. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. All right, guys. So first thing I need to do is take everything off of my desk. And I mean everything, speakers, laptops, monitors, keyboards, cables, everything. And I'm going to put it all down here on this bed around me so that after when the new desk is built, I can just take it from here and put it on there. That's the goal. It's going to take forever, especially the whole cable situation. But here we go. And 
that is it. That is my desk completely empty. It looks a lot smaller now without everything on it. Although on camera, it looks huge, I'm not gonna lie. And then this is everything that existed on my desk. No wonder I had that mess of cables. Look at how much stuff is here. We're gonna do it right this time. We're gonna do it right. Wow, my room is never gonna look like this again. Or at least for a long time. Bro, can you believe that this happened? What the hell? <laughs> Do you have any other tools in your no. room? Is there any way we could move this to my room without taking it all apart? Maybe if we take the doors off the frames. Can we take the legs off if by any chance it's stuck this thing? Oh yeah. This should be yeah. easy. Is our apartment really big or is our apartment really small? I, think, I hope this set of moving sorts that out for you. We're gonna have to, uh, oh no, wait, we're gonna put it in the hall. We're still... <sighs> like oh, hey guys. <laughs> All right guys, now we're gonna start working on my desk and there's quite a few boxes for that. Okay, now. All right, time. Let's get to work. I definitely asked for these to be white. Oh. No, the label here is black. That's like filled in. All right, let's see these lifting columns. Yeah. Are these black or white? Alright guys, so it's actually the next day now, put everything back on, had a good night's rest and now I'm ready to continue. I'm going to take everything off again, turn the desk upside down and we're going to begin with some cable management. This is my first time actually raising and lowering the desk electronically. Oh, fantastic. What a beautiful luxury to have. All right, guys, so we've actually lost something today that was very, very helpful and valuable yesterday and kind of irreplaceable. I don't have another one. And that is Noor, my sister. So today's gonna be a one-handed job. I'm gonna do my very best to get this done and hopefully not break anything. All right, so as you guys remember, I had a whole bunch of cables and wiring down here and we're gonna do our very best to not repeat that again. So I've got a bunch of cable management tools, trays, got power sockets, cable ties, literally everything that I could need to hide cables underneath my desk. Let's do this thing. Check this out. Magnetic hook to put underneath the desk. How cool is that? All right guys, so everything is looking quite good. We've got one extension plug cord thing over here. We've got this massive one in the middle and then another one here on the left. So I don't think I'm ever gonna run out of these plugs for all the electronics that I'm gonna be putting on top of my desk. And we've got all these little clip ties over here holding the cables together in place nice and neatly so they don't jump around and they can hide underneath the desk. And yeah, all in all, I'm pretty happy with that. I think I'm gonna flip it over now and then we can continue working from the top down. Guys, I completely forgot. I've got an entire drawer to assemble as well. I'm gonna go underneath the desk for a little bit of extra organization and storage space. Let's do that first. All right, guys, 
basically, I'm an absolute genius. And as you saw, I just exploded that packet of screws. <laughs> and now I've lost one. <sighs> genius. Absolute. Yes. Found it. Crisis averted, people. Crisis averted. All right. Back to building. All right. Let's flip this bad boy without breaking anything. Primarily my back. Don't know what the best way to do this is as one person. Ugh. All right, that was easier than I thought it would be. Very nice, very nice. Ugh. Okay, I don't have enough strength for that. Ugh. Come on, buddy. Ugh. Okay. One very exciting thing that I got is this monitor arm, which allows me to move the monitor around in a bunch of different angles and places and doesn't need a stand. So there's a lot more free space on the desk. So I'm actually very excited about this. All right, so that is very stable. All right, let's do this without breaking the monitor. All right, don't die, buddy. All right, we're getting there. All right, I'm not gonna lie, that's pretty crazy. Oh my, wow. That is absurd, almost 20. Perfect. Hey, bud. All right, guys. And now literally the most exciting part. I get to take everything I put on my bed and put it on this desk exactly where I want it. Let's get started. Oh, blessed. This is gonna make things so much easier. Now I can actually get under here without having to break my back. All right, let's get to it. All right guys, after what feels like an absolute eternity, the desk is finally done and I am so, so happy with it. I feel that it's big enough that there's some breathing room on the desk. It doesn't feel crammed or cluttered anymore. Everything has its own spot. And in my opinion, it looks absolutely fantastic. I'm really happy with how everything turned out. And most importantly, we have finally solved the cable management issue that I was having before. You can pretty much see no cables at all. And then if you look at the desk in a head on position, everything is hidden pretty well. It's only when you come down here that you start to see the cables down below. And actually, let me show you what I've done. So under here, I've got everything just shoved into these cable trays or with very strong Velcro stuck to the roof of the desk like this here and this here. And then here, this entire extension cable has been filled. Here, the entire extension cable has been filled. And luckily, I've still got these that if I get anything in the future, I'll have space for them. No wonder I had so many cables flying around the place before. There's so many. I couldn't fit anything else even if I wanted to. And then if we come around to the back of the desk, this is probably my favorite part. Everything coming out of the monitor goes up through this arm over here and then back down through this arm and then down over here. I know it's not the best job ever and I'm sure somebody could have done a better job, but I'm very, very happy with it. And it is infinitely better than what I had before. So of course, the main reason that I got this desk is because I can raise it and lower it electronically, which is absolutely fantastic. <laughs> and amazing. It also has memory presets for like when I'm standing, when I'm sitting, I can log those in here. There's also a hidden drawer down here. I'm gonna fill that out and put everything that I need in a bit. And finally, this monitor arm is basically magic. It can just move in all kinds of different directions. There's so much flexibility with what you can do with it. It's pretty incredible. And so for all those really long studying sessions, this is gonna help me make sure that my neck doesn't stay strained and my posture is looking Excellent. And all right guys, I think that is gonna be it for this vlog. I hope you've enjoyed seeing what it is that I do with my time off on the weekends when I don't have to study endlessly from my upcoming exams. If you did enjoy this video, please don't forget to leave a like on it and also subscribe to my channel to see more content from me in the future. And that's it, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Very happy with what this looks like now. Oh.